the most successful sprinter in 2021. This question is not about what could have been, who is the best on their day. This is who got the best sprint results in 2021. My answer is clear. It's Mark Cavendish. I agree. Firmly agree. And it's seen all over the season because we start off with the calf to the tour meme that popped up in Turkey. It was uh, one of his first proper sprint allowances at Quick Step this season. We had some small Belgian classics beforehand where he got very close just before Turkey. And in Turkey, he uh, started striking right. And he did so by um, quite simply beating the likes of Philipson quite a few times. Now, I do believe that positioning meant a lot in that race for his sprints, but he was successful. And he was able to book a position in the Tour de France because, well, Bennett was not looking that great and his relationship with uh, with his team manager, Patrick Lefebvre, was on its complicated on Facebook. So as a consequence, Mark Cavendish hopped into the door and was able to ride the tour. And he actually proved to, uh, well, everybody that he can still do it on that area. Obviously, the De Kooning train is very important, but there were stages in there where he won on his own regard as well. Was it the second stage win or something that he flew past one. like was it the first one yeah i think him beating philipson with philipson in the draft like that is pretty impressive on that uphill drag to for the stage four yeah i don't think he was in an okay position but it wasn't like perfect dropped off with 125 i think he was left on the front a little bit early like if you want the optimal drop off for that uphill drag and philipson wasn't good enough to come out of his draft now obviously a lot went right for him bennett not being there ewan crashing out stage three Merlier and Alpes and Phoenix deciding to treat the Tour de France like a kids' participation swimming carnival <laughs> and lead out Philipson after Merlier won stage three certainly helped Cavendish as well. But that's, this is the most successful awards. And he won four stages. He won the green jersey. Four stages of the Tour de France is more important than 10 World Tour stages scattered around other races in terms of exposure. So, yeah, Cav most successful for me. And he won... He won at Turkey and he won at Balois, a Belgium tour, like the Kernic Quickstep Belgian team. He won stage five ahead of Merlier, Ackerman, Groenewegen. So it wasn't just the tour, and he won the German race, Sparkas and Musterland Giro uh, as well. <laughs> yeah, that race. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, I didn't know he won that. I just saw on PCS there. So I think, yeah. <laughs> Who would you go to, Benji? That's the tougher one. That's a really good question, but I think I would be pointing it at either Merlier or Jakobsen, because we know that Merlier, when he is the sprinter in his team, the all-out sprinter that they go for, he's very likely to end up winning. I think it was Bing Bang where he had those two stage wins, one of which was on the left side of the road where he passed people in the last 100 meters and took that victory as well against very strong sprinters. And the counterpoint is that he always leaves after a few days in the Tour de France and in the Giro. So I'm kind of like, well, is that really a... Sure, he was successful the races he rode, but he wasn't there for the majority of the biggest sprints in the world, you know? So that's kind of the negative effect for me. But if you look at Jakobsen, then he came back for the for the Velta. Preparation races were looking good. The second he started sprinting again himself, he was getting closer and closer. And I think he already started winning one of his first ones that he actually started sprinting again, which is pretty damn big. And we saw him going into the Velta. We were looking at Philipson and Jakobsen for the two best sprinters in that race. And I would dare to say that Jakobsen was the strongest sprinter in the Velta. We've spoken about this before. Philipson was a uh, second in that row. And the question there is, how successful do we view Philipson if he is second and third? Is that successful, being able to podium on so many races at top level? I would say that it's somewhat successful, but it's not as successful as winning at that level. Well, no, it's not, it's not successful when the alternative is early year sprinting who can win. Yeah, so, like, but Malia wasn't at the Vuelta, so... <laughs> should have been. Uh, Jakobsen, I agree. Jakobsen, he, he basically just got his legs back underneath him for the first three stage races. Like, he, Dauphiné, he was literally there just for fitness. And then he won seven races, three at World Tour level, three at Dot Pro level in two months at the end of the season. It's a great return. And yeah, it's, it's incredible. But Malia, yeah, Malia is good as well. But anyway... That's that's a tougher second question, but Cav is our most successful sprinter in 2021.